Okay, greetings everyone. This is First in 2753 with the next episode of Geopolitical Simulator 4, Power and Revolution. Uh, we are in the uh, Free and Democratic North Korea campaign, and we are in our first election. Uh, North Korea, we are running uh, against the opposition party in an election. Opposition party is the Citizens Republican Movement. We are the Radical Red League, totalitarian extreme left. Uh, I have a lot more sympathizers. Um, they've got 62,000 sympathizers. They are a conservative rightist group. We are now meeting with the Pacifist Union champagne. I'd be happy. That's it. going to be proud of you. Uh, speak highly of me in public. Okay. And encourage me to vote for Don't people to vote for me. All right. So we won over that. Um, that association. And our two promises so far have been to establish a monthly rent allowance for low salary workers and to establish paid establish allowance paid to job seekers. So we're looking at housing and work so far. Popularity is up to ninety five percent. This group just kinda complimented me right off the bat. Okay. And I figured I'd just go ahead and grab them as well. Uh, do I have any celebrities or key figures I could bring into the mix? Artists. I have not looked at this at all. Commentator. 53% popularity. Who's that? Fashion designer. Anti. Both of the comment. Oh no, that's committed uh, filmmaker. Committed filmmaker. 76%. Let's see if we get her endorsement. No, she keeps asking me for something. Um, what did she keep asking me for? She wanted me to cut the uh, my salary. I have a feeling that she won't side with me. Pop singer. Let's meet with a pop singer. Let's get her on our side. Athletes. Athletes did not do well in the Olympics. So I wonder if they like me at all, or if I have any athletes. They are all mediocre at best. Okay, maybe I should give funding for sports, maybe? Tourism professionals complain. The fundraising campaign has been really Ooh, successful. That's a nice profit the for the fundraising campaign. Alright, tourism professionals. Minister for Tourism. There is no tourism union. Let's go ahead and make a. I kind of want to make a railroad promise. Transportation, because I want to build up my infrastructure. I do want to build up my infrastructure. Subway, highway, high speed trail. Ah, high speed train. Campaign promise. Maybe I can't do this in a campaign promise. Oh, yes, I can. I guess I can promise a certain number of miles, and then I have to uh, build the miles myself. Let's promise a hundred million dollars a year for five years, even though that doesn't really add up. Hundred million dollars, twenty-four miles of high-speed railroads. Let's see if this does anything. Performance hall in. This one. On Tuesday. That couldn't have had a negative impact. No way that could have had a negative impact. Not a great impact. But a little bit. Hey! 
Program popularity did drop. What the heck? I hate that. I'd be happy to. Yes, I... No, I... All right. Uh, speak out of me in public. Okay. Support me in the next election. I'm sorry. Take out a party card. Okay. Ah, I'm so pissed off at that uh, popularity. Program popularity thing. Infrastructure? You don't like infrastructure? I didn't promise enough was the problem. Oh, that's so frustrating. My number was looking so good before that. Alright, we lead with 91% of the vote intended. That's me, right? Yeah, 91% of the vote intended. We're going until November, right? I have to pull out some other big uh, campaign promises, it looks like. Working week? No, I don't want to do that. I wanted to promise a theater, but I'm worried that that might bring me down even more. I probably should have just kept it where it was. That stinks. He's not making any promises, so... But I'm worried he's going to do like promises right at the end. Traffic is jammed. Well, you know, I promised all those, uh, all that stuff. I don't want to promise anything else. Because I'm going to take a hit. I really just want this election to end. Saturday the 24th. How's our economy looking? Inflation is seems to have sort of slowed down a little bit, but still climbing. Growth still growing, not as much. Unemployment is down. GDP is growing. I gotta find something else to make a promise on. Sales tax, family allowances probably. They're not that cheap. They're not too expensive, though. Something happened there. Campaign statements. I want to get that popularity back up. Here we go. That's a lot of money. Let's cut it in half. No, let's cut it into a third. Forty dollars each, kid. What is the polling on this? Very happy, everybody. Big surplus. Let's start a big promise. Big sports center. And I forgot the name of that region. I wanted to do it. That one, I think. Or no, was it that one? One of these two. Yuck. Right there. Alright, election campaign. Polls favor me. 90%. Public finance looks great. Watch out for growth. How did that impact my campaign is what I want to know. Nothing! No impact on that one gotta be kidding me. Mediocre. Party opinion liked it. Public opinion wasn't great. Okay. But, uh, that surplus was huge. Huge. Three. One point three two billion dollars. Public debt is down to twelve billion. I think I'm gonna pay off the public. That's gonna be a goal for the series. I'm gonna put that out there right now. My goal right now is to pay off the debt. And then use the surplus to build infrastructure. Huge amounts of infrastructure. 
Okay. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year based on calculations that we made last month. This is a very good figure. Very good figure. Quarterly unemployment rate dropped to 6% from 8%. Campaign statements are negative, but my popularity is high. And my opponent has still not made any promises. Let me go ahead and do another one of those campaign fundraising things, because I want to make more money for my party. Build it up, and then I can use that money to bribe people, I think, right? Let's get another one here. Some sort of problem with Homeland Security Advisor. Hmm. So, more money in the party. I think the bribe money comes from the party, right? I don't know. That's a good question. That is a question that is out there. What's another campaign promise I can make that does not get me killed? Working week? Sales taxes. There's probably going to be a debate, too. Let's look at research. Which areas do I want to fund agri-food? Fully fund agri-food. That's very cheap. I'm gonna promise it. In a performance hall. In uh, this region. Did I already do this region? I don't remember if it was this one or the other one. I wanted to do it in the other one. Whatever the other one was. Okay, any promises? Does that help me at all? 40. Alright, nice. That helped. That moved up a point. Research. Went up a point. Agri food research is going to be maxed out. It's pretty cheap, too. I think I am going to start fully funding research. Really turn things around in North Korea. Fully fund research, privatize the market, cut the company taxes, pay off all the debt. And of course we gotta make it free. I don't wanna make any more of these free promises, freedom promises during the campaign, but we'll take care of things after the campaign. I think unions need to be freed up. That guy was upset with me. That might be the first thing to go. The unions are next to free. Let me just take a look at that, actually. Tolerate and monitor labor unions. What's the poll on this? Oh, man, everyone's against that. Never mind. All right, 86% voting intention. It seems to dip a little bit. Is everything okay? I just came to greet your affairs, see how they're going. Don't get me wrong, you always had absolute confidence in the party, but, you know, our members are anxious to see applying the program. Applying our program in a more systematic and aggressive manner. All right, they want me to take some more actions here. I could probably slight reduction in extreme poverty. That's Our good. Our fellow countrymen's purchasing power has been increasing lately. Good. Oh, really? I want to check that out. Inflation's at 3.93. Unemployment is really down. Um, public finances are up. Should I do the retirement thing? Promise retirement pension. Let's see here. Minimum retirement pension, $10. Let's gauge the opinions. Looks kind of good. I'm going to promise it in a performance hall in this region, because I don't know if I did that already. On Sunday. The fundraising campaign has been really huge successful. fundraising profits. Let's try to. Oh, I can't do it anymore. We're going to have the. November 6th is coming out. Alright, I gotta pause this real quick. Just check on the election. 
candidates. They have not made any. Oh, man. My. Come on. The retirement program dropped me 15 points. Party opinion. Party does not like the retirement program. You gotta be kidding me. The party doesn't like it. This is Communist Socialist Party. How do you not like pensions? Okay. I'm gonna put an end to this episode here. And then we'll do one more episode on the. Uh, We'll do an episode on the um, debate in the final election in the next one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.